Hey there YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video, uh, another check your change video. Uh, these are also uh, for moderns. These are modern dimes in this case, rare and valuable modern dimes, 1965 and up. Uh, 64 was the last year for silver, 65 they came out with the clad, and a lot of the old school coin collectors gave up on the moderns and said there wasn't anything worth collecting anymore. So that's cool because it leaves more for us. All these coins that you're going to see in this video um, are, uh, almost all of them, are available. Uh, you'll see when, we, when I indicate that there's a couple of them that are extremely rare, but uh, otherwise uh, some of these are extremely easy to find too. Uh, this first one is a 1975 No S Mint Mark. Um, and when you guys hear us talk in videos about No S Mint Mark, it's a proof No S Mint Mark. Okay, so if you find a 75 and it has no Mint Mark, if it's not a proof finish like this, it could be a Philadelphia. So we get tons of emails. I have this 75, it doesn't have a Mint Mark. It has to be a proof, okay? That's the key. If it's a circulating dime, it's a Philadelphia if it's missing the proof, uh, the mint mark. If it is, is a proof, 75, no S mint mark, like this one, there are only two examples of this dime known to exist. Only one has been certified by PCGS in proof 68, and it's sold at Stax Bowers Galleries in 2011 for three hundred and forty nine thousand six hundred dollars uh, in 1968 the next coin also a proof no s uh, about 12 of these are known the highest grade known is proof 68 it sold at heritage auctions in 2016 for twenty two thousand three hundred and twenty five dollars um, the next one is the 83 no S proof. Uh, and this one, the highest grade known is a proof 70 decam. And you can see this is, you know, frosted finishes and shiny fields. Again, you're not going to find a coin that looks like this unless it's a proof. If it's not a proof, it will not have the frosted finishes and the shiny fields. But if you find this one, uh, recently it sold at Heritage Auctions in January of 2017 for $8,225 and approximately a thousand of these are known. The next one, we're gonna cover three years uh, with this picture. Uh, this is a 65 struck on a silver planchet. Somehow one of the silver planchets still snuck in there. Uh, that happened in the 65s, the 66s, and the 67s. They all, they all have examples of these coins being struck on silver planchets. Uh, obviously they'll have the silvery white appearance uh, and you can look at the rim of the coin and see that the little pink line there is missing and it should weigh 2.5 grams. The regular clad would be 2.27 grams. That applies to all three coins. Uh, and they range in price from 1,800 in fine condition to $5,500 in uncirculated condition. Um, so you have multiple ways to check to see if it's a silver coin, uh, the edge, the weight, the appearance. And if you drop it on a table, if you want to take that risk, the sound of it, if you're familiar with what a silver dime sounds like hitting a table. Um, the next one, 1970. This one is also a no S proof. Uh, the highest grade known is a proof 65 cam PCGS. Uh, recently sold at auction January 2017 for $2,350. Another one in February sold for $3,050. Only about 750 of these are known. 
Um, the next one is the 1982 No Mint Mark. Uh, these um, 1982 should have had a P on them. Okay, so this is the difference between these and the proof coins. That's why I wanted to emphasize that so strongly. You can see that they do not have a shiny finish like a proof coin. These are regular circulation dimes. Um, they are very strongly struck. Uh, they originally were discovered in December of 82. Most of the coins were initially found in Sandusky, Ohio, where they found approximately eight to 10,000 coins. <laughs> If you can imagine that, eight to ten thousand coins like this that were eighty-two no p mint mark dimes. The first uh, examples were sharply struck examples uh, like this, and the second variety displayed a much weaker strike from a much weaker die that was used when they switched out. Uh, since there are a strong and a weak variety known uh, from the two different dies, it's estimated that no more. Get this, no more than 150,000 of these coins may exist. Uh, not do exist, may exist. So they don't know how many because those are still out there in circulation. So watch for these. PCGS has graded just over 2,000 of both the 82 no P variety uh, types. This means that there are probably many more coins somewhere out there waiting to be found. The highest known grade will uh, sell for about $2,500. So um, there's about 130, 40,000 of these sitting out there waiting for you to find them. So watch for them. Number nine, 1996, W, West Point Mint Mark. It is a regular strike. Uh, but uh, it is the first U.S. dime to contain the W mint mark. Uh, these coins were produced at the West Point Mint to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Roosevelt Dime Series. The coins were only sold as part of a special 11 coin mint set, which were also released in 96. The highest grade known is an MS69, and the price on that is $350. Uh, the last three that we have for you are mules. Uh, number 10 is the 1999 Lincoln Cent Roosevelt Dime Reverse struck on a cent planchet or penny planchet. Only one known, sold for $138,000 in April of 2006 by Heritage Auctions. Uh, we, ha we featured this in the mule video. All, th all three of these, I believe, we uh, featured in the mule video. Uh, the next one is the two-tailed dime struck on a copper nickel clad dime planchet. The mule error struck with two Roosevelt dime reverses graded at PCGS MS64. Only one is known. And the clash reverse is rotated 15 degrees. It is believed to be from 65 to 66, which is approximately the same as the two-sided quarters that they've been finding. Uh, they estimate those are also from that same era. Uh, it was sold by Fred Weinberg for $45,000. And the 1995 P Mule Scent Obverse it has a 95 Lincoln obverse and a dime reverse. The coin will have the same color and weight as a normal Roosevelt dime. So it's, a, it's basically a Roosevelt dime. The reverse is a Roosevelt dime, except Lincoln's on the front instead of Roosevelt, okay? Uh, the MS64 that you see in front of you sold at Heritage Auction January of 2010 for $57,500. Now, some of these coins came from mint sets or proof sets, but you can find them in your change. Um, as always, condition of the coin is very important. However, these coins, even in lower grades, are still worth good money. And the thing you have to remember is we find mint, mint set coins and particularly proof set coins 
in our changes and, and our coin roll hunting all the time. So if you can find a proof uh, coin in your error searching or in your coin roll hunting, then there's also a possibility that one of them could be on this list and you could be in for a very good payday. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Uh, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, JNB signing out.